Hello, and welcome to TMC's how-to demo series for Dynamics 365 Business Central, where we explore the features of Business Central for basic tasks within your organization. If you need help with a specific quick tip, let us know in the comments below, and we'll try to make it happen. Today, we're going to be going over quick tips for purchasing. In this video, you'll find out how your Business Central system can help you save time and effort. My name is John Hoyt, Solutions Specialist for TMC. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover how to reverse a posted purchase order, how to create an ACH file for paying your vendors, and how to print an AP check when nothing prints the first time around. Let's see how this works. I'll bring up my Business Central system. And the first thing I want to do is I want to navigate to my posted purchase invoices. For my purchasing dropdown, I can select those posted purchase invoices. And of course, from the previous vendor video, I could use the search function to navigate to the same location. This takes me to all of the activity in the purchasing system that is completed and posted. I can now identify the document that I want to work with and I can make my correction for that. So perhaps my third invoice down was entered incorrectly or for some other reason I need to make a correction. I simply highlight the document I want to work with, click on the correct function. You can see I can then correct it, create a replacement with the corrections to it, just cancel it outright and put everything back to the way it was initially, or leave my history in place and say what I want to do is just create a corrected credit memo to offset your choice, corrected memo, cancel, or correct, and then just go through the steps necessary as you walk through the little wizards. Now, there may be other times when you're working on payments going out to your vendors, in which case I'm going to be working in my payment journals. And maybe what I want to do is create a set of payments going out electronically. When I create that payment journal then, and I can drill into the details here, what I want to make sure that I'm doing is on the payment method code here, I'm specifying correctly how I want to pay that particular activity. If I'm going to use EFT or ACH or some other electronic method, I need to have that set to bank. Otherwise, it might be set to something like check or to cash, however else I might be paying those off. So you want to make sure that you have the proper bank payment method code identified for each one of those vendor payments to pay them either by check or by EFT, et cetera. And then finally, you may run into a situation on rare occasions when for some reason the checks do not print when you try to run through your check batch itself. You've told the system print the checks and nothing prints. When that happens, this is fairly common actually, um, what you want to do is first check that the bank payment type is set to computer check and also check that the bank account on the payment line within that payment journal, it's set to the same bank that's been selected on your check report. Those have to be aligned. Once they're aligned, then everything should print just fine on your check going forward. So in this video, we covered how to reverse a posted purchase invoice when needed, how to create ACH files for paying your vendors instead of paying by computer check, and a quick tip on how to make sure that you have those set up correctly between the name of the bank that you've selected on the payment line and the name of the bank that you've selected on the report job itself. That wraps up this video. If you have any questions or would like to make a suggestion on what we should cover in the next video, please comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your comments, and if you need immediate technical support, I invite you to visit our website about tmc.com. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, Thanks for watching and follow our social media accounts.